Hi, I'm Greg Estes from NVIDIA. We're here at NAB 2012, where NVIDIA and our partners are transforming the digital content creation workflow through the use of GPU computing technology. Check out some of the demos that we have here in the booth. Hi, my name is Wes Howell and I'm with Adobe Systems. I'm going to show you some exciting new 3D workflows that are taking advantage of NVIDIA Maximus technology. We have a, just a regular video clip and it was actually shot with a Technocrane. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a new feature in After Effects 3D Camera Tracker. And what the uh, 3D Camera Tracker does is it analyzes our footage and it creates tracking points all over throughout the footage. What we can do is we can actually switch over and we can look at the 2D source. And we can see that what After Effects has done is it's created a number of different 2D tracking points all over the image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the points, I'm going to right click and choose Create Text and Camera. And so if we switch it over into two views and we select the camera, what After Effects has done is it has used all those tracking points to create a 3D camera. And so we have a full 3D camera working in 3D space. With CS6, now that we can take advantage of the new optics processing from NVIDIA, we can switch over to our new ray tracing renderer, Raytrace 3D, and at this point we can extrude our text, which is giving us truly 3D text, a 3D camera, and a true 3D environment. So there are a number of things that we can do to make this more realistic, is we can create a new light, uh, and you can see as we add that light, that now we're starting to get some more accurate shading. I'm just going to flip ahead to a, uh, a project that's in a finished state. And uh, in this particular project, we've used three lights. And we're using an environment map. And we're also using motion blur. And you can see that we have a, a, a very, very impressive finished effect. Hi, I'm Lance Maurer, I'm the CEO and founder of Cinefilm. We're here at the NVIDIA booth showing our flagship product, Dark Energy. That's a, an image processing technology that specializes in restoration and texturization of uh, both classic titles and modern digital content as well. So folks use Dark Energy to basically scrub all the noise or compression noise or film grain out of an image without hurting the detail and then they add back a realistic film simulation. Uh, this is basically made possible by the NVIDIA cards that we have inside. This particular setup that we have here at the booth, uh, I believe has four Tesla cards and a Quadro card. So we're leveraging the Maximus technology uh, to its hilt, essentially. In order to do the kind of image processing that we do, we're, we rely very heavily on very high-end mathematics. The only way this is made possible is by the GPU acceleration that we employ. Hi there, my name is Will Braithwaite. I'm part of the Applied Engineering team at NVIDIA. I'm going to show you uh, some of the latest features we've been putting into our technical demonstration showcasing Maximus integrated into Maya. Okay, so this is a kind of simple example where I'm going to be pouring a ton of particles over a bunch of spheres to collide with. And this is using the uh, traditional methods inside Maya, and you can see it's, uh, it's kind of painful. I can actually uh, now do something a little bit better using the technology at our disposal. This is Maximus, so we've got a Quadro card and a Tesla card in the system. And now it's been improved to handle millions and millions of particles and we can pour them interactively over all of these spheres. Well, let's start it again, give it a bit of color. And now we can maybe make the intro sequence to the next Ghostbusters film or something like that. Uh, we can handle more solvers now, uh, different levels of viscosity, melting objects, uh, and uh, continually working on more that are all sort of plug-in based architectures. Here's another example. This is my quick attempt, attempt at the Bellagio fountain. So it's it probably uh, a little bit more like the Budweiser fountain, but um, you get the idea. This was just knocked together uh, in a few minutes and it's all completely interactive. And we can change all of these variables to sort of change how the, the water sprays around. Hi, I'm Lon Gross from the Chaos Group. Today we're showing a uh, brand new release of V-Ray RT that is uh, fully CUDA enabled and optimized for uh, NVIDIA's platform of GPUs. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to quickly go into Active Shade, and uh, in a couple of seconds we should start to see our scene pop over here, fully ray traced, uh, full global illumination. We can start to do some look development, so if I want to turn on this light and actually see how that affects the, uh, 
the nice reflections and, and glossy view of the car. And all of this stuff is happening essentially in real time. As we navigate around, you can see that um, I'm getting a fast update with these two video cards. If we wanted to say change uh, our material on this, we could. We can go from a red car to a white car, whatever we want. And uh, we're really looking forward to the promise that the CUDA-enabled version brings. Uh, right now, this is Max 2013, but, but we're looking at implementing in uh, the rest of our offerings as well. Now that you've had a chance to see our great demos, go to NVIDIA.com where you can get lots more information on what we're doing with our partners around GPU computing to transform the DCC workflow.